Uh, not good. It's a police station. Ah, screw walking. Let's drive there. I oh, know. Why not? Enemies on the streets. Looks like you're gonna have to go Assassin's Creed style. Again. Oh, I hate my job. Stupid acrobatics. Stupid enemies. Stupid police station. Stupid blacklist. Sam headed towards his next objective, unaware of what terrible dangers lay ahead of him as he ran slash skidded towards the next obstacle. But wait. Let's stop for a second and admire this beautiful place. All of these tiny details that the developers must have spent hours placing there. Look at the reflections. Look at the beautiful shadows, his hairy face and head. The way that all of these leaves are 3D. You can just imagine it now. Honey, what did you do at work today? Oh, I just modelled some 3D shrubberies. Oh dear, people are never going to care about that. Get a job doing something better, like doing voiceovers or something. The average skill level for those is alarmingly low at the moment. <clears throat> anyway, time to carry on with the mission. Sam, superpower strike again, dragging this poor guy across the ground before giving him the ride of his life. Wow, let's watch that again in slow motion. How hasn't this man got a place on the blacklist yet? He has the martial arts skills of a video game character, the climbing abilities of that French guy that climbs buildings, and the sneaky prowess of something super sneaky. Here he is, about to perform yet another brilliantly executed super stunt. Once he gets his nerves together. Hey, even secret agents need time to compose themselves. Sadly, Sam forgets how to jump off the rope and ends up making a fool of himself. Hide Sam! Enemies are coming! Once Sam's wounds closed up and healed Wolverine style, he went back on the offensive. Or maybe he didn't. I forget, these videos are all so similar. This time he got stuck in some boxes, then hid for a while before having an awesome gunfight. Bet they're shouting hacks and aimbot on the way up to evil villain heaven. Sam was once again spooked by what he thought was an enemy. Fortunately, it was just him losing his sanity. Thank goodness for that. He didn't have time to think about it for long before he was in the middle of yet another battle. It's not his fault. How is he meant to hide in a sunny town in the middle of the day? I'll shut up and let you watch the battle. In other words, he's going to stick his head up and become a target. How kind. Aha! Sam has truly mastered the art of stealth, among other things. Next he's going to take a sneaky route through the house to avoid any more battle. Oh, whoops. Unlucky Sam, let's try that again, only more sneakily. Done like a pro. Done like a pro. Done like a pro. Done like a, well, not so pro, but close enough. Done like a pro. Oh no, best go. But lo, a sound they hear. This was beginning to remind Sam of playing Hitman, and that awkward moment when you're shooting the witnesses if they're entering the room, knowing that your stealthy exit is quickly fading out of existence, and that it's only a matter of time before panic spreads across the entire level like a virus. Fortunately for Sam, the AI in this game was a bit suspect, and he carried on to the next area, where he also managed to do it in a surprisingly effective style that he has named the Benny Hill. Oh Sam, that was awesome. Now quick, onwards to the police station. Ew, I take back what I said about the graphics earlier. And what better way to conclude this part than by capturing a person on the most wanted list. Sam, I'm seeing a high value target. Single digits on Langley's most wanted. If you capture him, we'll arrange for pickup. Alive. Sam made his way to the window, timed it perfectly, was thankful nobody had locks in this place, and took him down non-lethally. He hoped. Hmm. Maybe not. He doesn't seem to be moving. Well, this is awkward. Only one thing for it. 
and out of the window you go. Time to forget about that awkward incident and to move on to greener pastures, something that Sam does with little hesitation. On the next Splinter Cell, Sam encounters dogs. How can he pass them? Hmm. Oh, and later on, he finds himself with two ammo against two, no, three, four guards. How does he manage it? And yes, he does. No stupid quick loading for Sam this time.